I just wanted to say thanks to uh, the various saints that I've been asking to intercede for my prayers the last several months. I had never prayed before in such a way that I asked for intercession by this from the saints. And I started trying it little by little and now it feels unnatural not to. So I want to thank Abraham, Moses, Jacob, Ishmael. Well, some of them I don't know. Ishmael. Sometimes I included him, but I don't know. If he's a, if he, where he's at on the in terms of being able to intercede. So I sometimes include if you're able to intercede for me to God. Because not everybody in the Bible is going to be up there with God. But we know Abraham for sure, Moses, yes, Jacob, Esther, Ezra, Nehemiah, Zechariah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul, and of course, Mother Mary. Joseph, Joseph, both Josephs. King David. Thomas, Timothy, Andrew, James, Philip, Stephen, Paul. Oh, I already said Paul. Micah, Amos. Malachi, Philemon, Titus, Peter, oh, I said Peter, and so many more. That's why I also say all the angels and saints. I also include the angels. Sometimes I say some of the angels we know by name, like Michael, Angel, Archangel Michael. And the many angels we don't know by name. Some say we all have our own personal angel. John the Baptist. And the list goes on. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to intercede for me. Because I know your prayers are powerful. More powerful than mine, for sure. Pray to continue to draw me closer to God so I can continue to do His will. Not my will, but Thy will. Or as I sometimes say as an acronym, TRILABD. I will be done. Try the BD, not my little BD. We pray for our world. Pray for our leaders. Pray for our president. Give him godly wisdom to do what is right. Pray for our missionaries, pastors, evangelists. All the people, all the body of Christ, to try to continue to fulfill the Great Commission. Not leave it up to just a few leaders. Oh, it's easier to put give money and not do anything. But God wants your heart. He wants you to give, give it to your heart, not just your money. So uh, keep that in mind. I don't know if God will judge you on how much money you gave. Like, to say, oh, wait, you gave a million. You only gave ten. Well, I think it really depends on your heart. As the widow's might attests, it's what's in your heart. God be with you all and bless you out there who are listening to my messages. I encourage you also to pray, to ask the uh, saints to intercede for you as well.
pray this all in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.